Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message for September 19th, 2022. Um, you may hear in the background while I'm speaking the wonderful sounds of a new George Street. Um, they're working on uh, some sidewalk stuff right now on the 100 block of South George Street, but they'll be moving uh, through the next month or so uh, up to North Street. So the part of North George Street, or I'm sorry, South George Street, and North George Street that will be completed this year will go from York Hospital uh, to North Street uh, right by the baseball stadium and then the rest of it will be done uh, next year 2023. So you'll hear this throughout my message today. Um, wanted to bring up the dense ply letter of intent is on the agenda for City Council tomorrow night. You may recall in April or May the council voted, I believe unanimously, to uh, pursue control over the Dense Ply campus. Um, that's a 17 acre piece of the city of York. Uh, and uh, we wanted to make sure that we could have input into what is developed there. Because if it just got sold onto the market, it could be anything. It could be something that wasn't conducive to that neighborhood over there. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we stepped in and then once we have control of the property, then we can uh, determine for ourselves. We know, I think City Council and I agree, we want some affordable housing over there. Um, some stuff for business incubation perhaps is a good, good location over there off of Grantland College. So uh, what we are asking this time is just a reaffirmation of the City Council's uh, intent to support the purchase of the Densply campus. And uh, that'll just bring us into the next stage. So this is just a letter of intent. This isn't the purchase yet, but we'll be able to trade documents with the sellers and uh, do a little bit more due diligence. So uh, we're hoping that the city council supports this uh, as they did in April. I think it was April that they supported it originally. Uh, so hoping they're going to reaffirm their support and uh, we can do something really great with a very large tract of land. Actually, it's 28 different parcels over there that there's just great opportunities for new development, uh, for new businesses, really a great, uh, a great asset. And uh, also, uh, hopefully, part of the new trail uh, that runs along the Cadoris from Bance Park down into, uh, I think, King Street. I think it'll get to King or Princess the trail will be able to wrap around down down to there another way to connect people in this case from the west side downtown in a bike friendly and pedestrian friendly route that will bring them into the downtown area bring them to school uh, so uh, we're very excited about that so that's just an update i told you my new format I'm trying to update you on a project every week that we are working on and this is an update on the dense ply project and the dense ply letter of intent so if you would like to uh, watch city council tomorrow night at six o'clock and city council i hope that you support uh the same thing that you supported just a few months ago um, a great event tonight the Pol police commissioner's community report this time in spanish so detective baez is going to be uh giving a full report and uh, hopefully connecting more with our Latino community. So, um, you know, the more people that we have talking with the police, the more people that realize the police are here uh, to help us, to uh, try and keep us as safe as possible, uh, the more people that report crimes, the safer our community is going to be. So I really wanted to make sure, and we worked out, uh, we talked ahead of time with uh, CASA, the, the Dominican, uh, the Dominican uh, representatives actually from the consulate, uh, they came in from Philadelphia and we talked about the need to make sure that we're all connected here in this city. Uh, no matter what our background is, uh, the more we are all connected, the safer a community we have. So tonight at six o'clock, that's at Still Meadow Church at 350 Chestnut Street in the Northeast neighborhood. So you can be there in person, or you can see it on Facebook, or Cliff, will it be on Channel 18? Probably, but I haven't heard from anybody. Okay, probably on Channel 18 on White Rose Television, but since you're already on Facebook watching me, uh, unless you're on Channel 18, uh, then you know that uh, you can just jump over to the link provided in the post here, 
and that is uh, for the police officer or the York City Police Department Facebook page. Next, we have a York Community Resource Fair uh, brought to you by a lot of partners, but um, certainly Family First Health is uh, uh, focusing on this and is our lead on this. And this will be um, on Wednesday, on Wednesday uh, at 317 or behind 317 West Market Street, which is also kind of known as the parking lot for the YMCA right behind the old bank building on the corner of Newberry and West Market Street. So 317 West Market Street. There will be rapid HIV testing, um, STD uh, resources, and risk reduction supplies, uh, blood pressure screenings, COVID resources, LGBTQIA plus resources, WellSpan community resources, Horizon Advanced Care Planning, Substance Use Services, Housing and Shelter Resources, Medical and Dental Resources, Insurance, Narcan, and many other giveaways uh, and other activities there. So that is on Wednesday from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, uh, right basically on the first block of Newberry Street, first block of North Newberry Street, behind 317 West Market Street. And that night, we have Jazz Night. Uh, at Royal Square in the Courtyard at 116 East King Street. So that's very exciting. That's 5 to 7 jazz in the Royal Square Courtyard. Uh, that's also known as the Cantina Courtyard. They all kind of share that area back there. Um, that is tonight, 5 to 7. Or I mean, not tonight. That's Wednesday night, 5 to 7. Then we have uh, this weekend, Celebrating Creativity Art Market, also over in the Royal Square District. That is Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and that is uh, organized by one of our new partners, the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. So you may know uh, the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design uh, actually formed here in York City, later went over to Lancaster, uh, but they've just opened up a, uh, a presence on uh, South Duke Street. So it's very exciting that they're participating and uh, we're having a creativity art market September 24th, right uh, 133 South Duke Street, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then this is very exciting. The Latin Music Fest is, uh, th it's all very exciting, but uh, we also know that uh, um, the Latin Music Fest is in Penn Park on Saturday from 2 to 9 p.m. And uh, you'll see, if you go to that website, the Eventbrite website, you'll see all the fabulous acts. Um, also, there is a surprise uh, from the radio station who is going to be a new uh, Latin, Latino music, uh, Latina, musica, musica Latina, uh, in, uh, in South Central Pennsylvania, and there will be some announcements about that, a new, uh, a new radio station coming, um, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, so that is very exciting, and I will be there, um, two to nine at, uh, Penn Park. And finally, we've got uh, more hiring days, uh, particularly the Yorktown. I got a little bird singing in my ear saying that we don't have, hopefully that within a couple of months here, a couple of months, there's a lot of progress being made over at the Yorktown right now, but within a couple of months, we may see the Yorktown open, um, including the dining area on the roof, which is super exciting. Uh, meanwhile, they are working on uh, hiring folks. I can't remember how many hires they have, but there will be hiring days for the Yorktown, September, uh, Wednesday, September 21st, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's at the York County Economic Alliance, the Goodridge Center, over at the corner of Roosevelt and East, or West Philadelphia Street. Roosevelt and West Philadelphia Street, 144 Roosevelt Avenue. So this is a great opportunity. As m many of you know, uh, there's a worker shortage. And this gives opportunities for fresh starts. So I hope people are paying attention and realizing that, um, I mean, not only the Yorktown is hiring, but restaurants and food industry all across the country are facing shortages. And uh, this is a great opportunity to get into a career field that you can advance pretty rapidly. Um, I, I used to be a dishwasher and a busboy and a, um, a line, line cook, I guess. And, uh, um, I worked a lot of places before I became the mayor, 
And uh, the food industry is one that always had, you know, I could always get a job when I needed one. And uh, so I definitely recommend that to anyone. And working at the Yorktown, that sounds like a great opportunity. Maybe my next job. We'll see. But uh, that's what I've got for you today. And uh, also uh, Wednesday is, I believe Wednesday is the first day of fall. So welcome to fall. Uh, today it's not going to feel like fall, but it's be mid 80s. Uh, but uh, uh, it's going to rapidly, uh, rapidly feel a lot better here. And with the fall, we'll hear a little bit less of, uh, less of this construction outside my office. And uh, we're going to have a new South George Street pretty soon. So enjoy. Enjoy the new bike lane that we dedicated on Friday. The bike lane on King Street is open. So please, if you are traveling around the city on bike, Utilize that bike lane as much as you can. Obviously, you're going to have to like spur off to the different locations, but if you can use that King Street lane as kind of a main highway, that and the, uh, and the rail trail, uh, we can hopefully have a safer passage for our bicyclists uh, that, are, that are utilizing our roads. Uh, we recognize that in this Victorian city, not a lot of people will see it i guess but uh this city wasn't made for cars and bikes and everything to be and buses and all these things semi trucks all trying to utilize the road at the same time so hopefully if bicyclists can uh, spend do do their best to utilize the king street bike lane uh will reduce that conflict and increase the safety for everybody both vehicle drivers car drivers and bicyclists so I hope to see you out there. I did ride it on a little bit the other day. Uh, so I hope to see you out on the bike lane at these wonderful events and all around the city of York this week. Have a good one.